Hello, this Hello. is the Heavy Metal Show calling for Mr. Lordy. Hey, and you got the right number. Excellent, excellent. How <laughs> are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm Great. Good. I have a, just a brief, you know, interview. This isn't very long, um, but it's, sure. you know, seven to ten questions. We're really, okay. ex really excited to talk to you. I got to see you in Massachusetts in the States about three years ago with Typo. And oh, cool. Great cool. concert. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> well, that's good. We, you know, we, try, we always try our hardest not to suck. So, yeah. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, sometimes, or actually, actually, quite a few, quite a few times, you know, we don't succeed in that. Yeah? <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I hear yep. what you're saying. Hey, my first uh, question or first way to get this rolling, Mr. Lordy, tell us the story of the band, Lordy, Lordy, uh, briefly. What? and why and how what is your kind of way that you tell the story of your group well um well i always try to you know try to make a long long story short but uh <laughs> it's almost impossible for me because i talk too too much so yeah <laughs> good luck editing um mm, well it's uh well uh, the main points are the, are the things that you know. I was in another band uh, in the in the in the late 80s, uh, and um, and the problem was that uh, uh, while still while I was still you know into bands like Kiss and Twisted Sister and Wasp and you know those those like glam or shock rock or you know hair metal bands, uh, my bandmates started you know slowly drifting into Megadeth and Metallica and and, and like thrash metal. So the problem was that they, that, that, that that my band mates at at at, at that time they didn't want to play my songs anymore because they thought that they were so passe, you know, they were so out of out of time. And uh, so I started making my own demos, and and uh, Lori has you know always been my nickname, so so you know hence the name Lori, and you know and and you know pretty soon I realized that. God damn it! You know this is actually it's actually much you know rewarding for me to do my own song own songs the way I want to do them and blah blah blah. And I started concentrating on you know doing my own shit you know instead of you know trying to trying to fight with four other guys and and you know what should we play because obviously by that time we you know we were just kids but anyway you know we had so much <laughs> you know differences <laughs> in musical taste and, and you know one might say that 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 all the others they actually grew up you know but i never grew up <laughs> so so I, I i'm still i'm still stuck in the in the in the in the in the late 70s or the whole 80s you know you know rock bands or hard rock or heavy metal as it was called then you know i'm, I'm still stuck there i i you know, I, that's my, that's my cup of tea, you know, really. So, so, um, that's how it's, uh, how it got started. And it took the full 10 years after the first demo, uh, of, on, under the name of Lordy, which was, uh, which I did in 1992, eventually. Uh, so it took full 10 years for, for us to get the record deal. And, uh, so in 2002, we got the first album out and, um, uh, well, yeah, and I, I, I always thought, and I, I still believe that, you know, you just have to bang your head against the wall and, and <laughs> just pray that, that, that the wall will break before your head will, you know, so, <laughs> so, that, so that, that, that was pretty much what happened. So there, was, oh, there were already tons of lineup changes before we even got the record deal because, you know, well, well you know, it is like that, 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 that the people were too, you know, getting too tired. Oh, my God, you know, we've been doing this for years and years and nobody seems to be interested. Well, that was actually not the case. Uh, it, was, it was more like um, the record labels, they wanted to change us so oh. much. They, they, the others said that because we, we already had the image, that monster thing, you know, and, and, yeah. and the music, as I said, it, it's kind of dated. It's, it, it, you know, we, re, we are really strong and we, we know where our roots are, you know, and, and we are not ashamed to, ashamed to, you know, name our idols. Like, you know, we're, you know, open and say, yeah, yeah, it's Kiss, it's Swiss Sister, it's, it's everything that Desmond Child ever wrote or whatever it's accept and it's, you know, you know, it's, it's, it's that. So, so um, uh, the, the labels at the time in the, in the, in the early 90s, they were more like, okay, you get, you get to play like black metal or death metal or something because there was a lot of bands, like really technical metal bands coming out of Scandinavia back then. 
and it's like they, you have to the image is great but you have to change your music and well I cannot do that it's, it's the, the reason I started this band is because of the music not the image the image is just the wrapping of the present you know yeah. and, uh, and, and the other and the other labels they said well you know, uh, uh, I, you know the music is alright but you have to change two things you have to uh, trust the image because the image is just so silly it's so, so stupid you know it doesn't fit the fit the music at all and the other one is that you have to change the lead singer because the lead singer is way too growly <laughs> <laughs> for, for, for this music you know you have to find somebody who, who can sing really like 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 beautifully and, and I was like well that's that's that could be a bit of a problem <laughs> so yeah so so well that that's the long story even longer so so well eventually you know luckily Fortunately, we got we got, we got ourselves after ten years. We got ourselves a record deal with with uh, it was B and G back then, and uh, yes. yeah. And after that, it's it's um, well, we've uh, we've tried to release an album every every two years. So, so uh, the funny thing is that actually next year in 2000, 2012, we're celebrating our um, you know tenth year anniversary of uh, of releasing Get Heavy, the first album, and also at the same time twenty years of since the you know birth of Lordy. Great. Anyway. Yeah. That is some great news right there uh, to hear that out of that question. And I'll tell you, uh, musically, um, we love it. You're keeping a, a very powerful sound that influenced a lot of us, you know, in the late 79 into the 80s mm -hmm. metal. Um, and they mm -hmm. can say that till they're blue in the face, but your stick to itiveness of keeping yourselves sounding like yourselves, which gives us a great Euro kind of, it's sort of like accept in a way, but it's sort of, you can yeah, tell it's, yeah. it's like you, and I've been a fan of that style for, God, for, for as far as I can look yeah. at. <laughs> and yeah. so musically, we were really enjoying Babes for Breakfast last night. Uh, we were listening to that, and cool. uh, awesome. Can you tell us anything about that? And is that your last uh, actual audio release? right now oh about bass well th that is um well well as you know yourself really well you 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 shouldn't go you know you, sh you shouldn't leave the studio before you re really actually believe that you have achieved uh, a uh, product that is better than the last one because otherwise <laughs> what's the point in that well you, when you come out of the studio and you said yeah this is not as good, good as the previous one but yeah mm -hmm. so 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 this is uh babes is something that that uh we try to we well we always try to polish the diamond so to speak you know we try to you know find a way and find the right producer who could you know who could you know crank out some some uh you know well you who could polish our diamond really and and and, and uh, you know being being a really 80s orientated band and and really really like strong melodies and and simple hooks and you know all that shit uh, uh of course michael wagner was a really really obvious choice mm -hmm. and unfortunately unfortunately he he agreed you know to to do that because he doesn't agree, he he doesn't take all the offers he gets he he like chooses like yeah yeah I'll, choose, I'll do that he has to love the band and fortunately well of course you know you know it wasn't you know in hindsight it wasn't that big of a surprise that he took us because, uh, 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 well, except for Kiss and Twisted Sister, he has pretty much produced all of my favorite bands ever. Yes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> so 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 it was it was easy and and, and um, yeah. So we went to Nashville. It was the first time we ever ever uh, uh, recorded uh, abroad from Finland. You know, and uh, and we yeah. went to Nashville. We were there for three months. Um, and it was great experience, and and we noticed something also that that when you go away from your home, when you have an ocean between you you know your home and the and the actual you know, studio work environment, it helps in a way that that you don't have to worry about bills, you don't have to worry about you know you know uh, uh, making it to the supermarket to buy groceries, and you don't have to <laughs> worry about feeding the pets, you don't have to worry about any of that shit. You are just there to work, and 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 it it was it was a really fucking cool. Uh, really nice uh, experience for us, and and um, and uh, of course the way of w ways of um, working with, the, with you know between the Finnish producers in general and Michael, it was it was it was like night and day, and I can tell you that Michael's way of producing was was it suited us perfectly, you know, way better than the Finnish producers, and. Um, yeah, and, and and we knew already when we were writing the songs, we knew that okay, because we we uh, we knew that we we're gonna, we want to write a, like a party album. We want to write like a really eighties kind of popish, awesome. you know, um, big sing along, 
you know, album. That's what we want to do. Because for some reason, we always seem to have this pattern, which is, which is not thought of. It, 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 uh, it just comes naturally. We, we don't think, think about it but, but it, but it seems to be that we have this pattern that first we release a rock album and then the second one right after that is, is, is like a horror, more, more, um, well, you know, in, in Lordy categories, more, more serious album. And then once again, you know, the third album would be, you know, more rock album and the fourth would be more serious album. So this was uh, once again a rock album, but now we are trying our hardest. Not only suck, but <laughs> we are trying our hardest not to, not to suck, but also trying for the next one. We're trying, trying to find something in between that we wouldn't go too serious or too dark on the next one because it's, it's a pattern that really, you know, you know, it annoys me and it annoys everybody in the band that, that for some reason it seems to, you know, it seems to be like that, that after a rock album, you know, we always do this a little bit, just a little bit more serious album. So, so yeah, and, and, and after Babes, um, uh, and we have already talked about this uh, with the label and, and with Michael too, that, that, that uh, this, this actually will be the first time that we'll, we'll continue with the same producer because we, I think we've found our match, you know, Great. you know, he's the guy for us, definitely, you know. Yeah. So well, that's the, that's the short, short version of the <laughs> one version of, you know, of Bates for Breakfast, yeah. But I, I, I love it. I, the, the only thing that I'm, that I'm really, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm not that really happy about the, the, not the album, actual, actual album, but the thing that, you know, it, it kind of got stumbled, you know, Somehow, you know, it didn't get the recognition uh, that that we 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 felt that you know it should have got gotten gotten. You know, the the media exposure wasn't that that big that we we hoped and thought it would be. So so uh, even though we got really great, well, you know, we got really great uh, critics, you know, from for the album, really great mm-hmm. reviews. Of course, we got really bad ones too, but those are just idiots. They don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 uh, but 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 basically, uh, uh, it's. You know, it's just you know, it, it's just a little shame. Like, hey, come on, oh, that's a shame. You know, it's a, but um, yeah, but do that's great. Do you think it's the industry changing? You know, I mean, uh, a little bit there. Oh God, yeah. Oh God, yeah. It's 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 the it's the industry changing, and 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 as you know yourself really well, it's, uh, the the whole music business is changing so rapidly and so fast, and the labels and the bands and and the, and the, you know it, it's really hard to you know keep up with the, with the, with the, with the new you know pace and everything. It, it's funny. I just heard this. Um, uh, uh, the Finnish labels they had. Um, Record companies, they had this like like a survey about you know, uh, and this is only in Finland, you know, which is really small country, only five million people, and 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 and, and they they had this survey that how could they keep up with the with the with the consumers, you know, you know, who want to listen to music, and the problem is that that that, that nowadays, you know, the kids are not actually buying the albums you could actually be somebody who you know if you're a one if you're like 13 or 14 and you're you're in a classroom and you actually own a real cd bought cd that makes you a nerd and that that makes you somebody that people will stop pick up on you because that is something like that that, that is not cool to have you know you know it's not cool you know it's 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 uh so so they they are actually nowadays they are changed they they are like um what is the word like like they are changing uh hard hard drives hard disks you know amongst them that's how they got you know introduced to new music and new new songs and they don't know anything about the album you know mm. uh, as a whole they only know about the songs you know and uh, and they are not even interested in following one or two artists or, and, 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 and focusing on artists they are just following that one song of one band and, and then like hundred others and it only lasts for two or three weeks and then it's like ah you know I'm bored with this song and not even and, and not even interested in hearing any other songs from the from the artist and that is that is uh, that is scary shit isn't it yes. it's, it's like oh my god <laughs> so so yeah and it's it's um, because like Finland has always been uh, famous somewhat famous you know about about you know because we play metal uh you, you could hear metal in mainstream radio you know at noon it's not it, it's always <laughs> been like that it's, uh, you could hear like children of Buddha right like like uh like 11 30 
AM on the radio, <laughs> on the national national radio, and it's it's like uh, we don't have that uh, we don't have that um, that strong that category, you know, thinking. So so if, if whatever is popular and whatever people want to hear, they will play, you know. And and the next song could be, you know, uh, uh, whatever. It could be like I Can Tina from <laughs> from the seventies or whatever, you know. <laughs> and the next song could be like I said, Children of Bloom or whatever. It could be Metallica. It could be Sleep Not, it, you know. But but now it's 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 starting it's, it is starting to change it, it is uh, it it already has changed it, it's like it's like their their um their 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 radios in Finland they are they're they're like playing playing um um you know they're they're more focusing on hip hop and rap and you know shit like that which I don't understand it's like come on <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. But, but that's that's unfortunate. That's that's how you know where it's where it's um, going. And and, and uh, well, well, yeah. yeah. So so I, of course there there are no many there are no no more so many forums and and, and channels for for artists or bands or this kind of music to come out. It's 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 the the fans and the people are still there because you can see them at the at the, at the, at the gigs and the and at the shows and at the festivals. Yeah. But uh, but still, I mean I mean. Finding new fans, it's it's like almost like an impossible job because it's like how if 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 if, if the if the if the kids are not interested in finding finding new bands and finding new music, then what can you do? And if they don't <laughs> want to buy the albums, how can you how can you make the you know keep the ball rolling? Yeah. It's kind of hard, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it's definitely yeah. hard. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, it's interesting. It creates uh, a love for your art and uh, I think that you guys have that as well um, but it's your living and you get a little nervous about you know where's the paycheck going to come from if uh, things are changing quickly um, exactly yeah, yeah. But you guys it's, love it's it not, you can tell <laughs> yeah well, well you have to love it I mean I mean, uh, of course there are a lot of people who, do, who are just doing it for you know you know keeping the food on the table and you know so but, but fortunately you know I have to knock on wood not there yet, you know. Still enjoying it. Oh, <laughs> still yeah. enjoying a lot of it. And then it's like, like, like for me personally, Lord is something that I, um, uh, because I, I don't consider myself uh, as a musician first. I'm, I'm more like an artist. Even though I hate the word, because an artist, the word, it actually, actually for me, the stereotype is that I have to wear a beret and drink red wine <laughs> and you know, throw funny masters and. And not not take a shower in ten days or whatever, you know. That, you know, be like a bohemian, and we, which I'm not at all. But I, uh, but, but still, still, um, you know, to the, the this whole band for me personally is is, is something that um, it allows me to do everything that I think I can do well. You know, I paint the album covers, I do all the all the all the merchandise designs, I I, I do everything, everything you see. In Lori and, and and like eighty eighty percent of the songs you hear are, are you know from my head from mm -hmm. my sick head. Yeah, but I, it's, <laughs> Your sick head. I, I, but, yeah, my sick head. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but it's but but, but yeah. But it, but it, but I, and it's also sometimes it is kind of devastating to see the the whole you know music business change around you when you when you when you know when you when you realize and and you understand that the fact that that it's uh, in, in this field. Um, of work, it's not the quality of your work that 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 is um, what is the word that that um, means so much. You know, it's it's how other people will see your work, mm. and, and, and you could have like like you could have done your the best album of your career, but the, if the people don't buy it, they don't buy it, and then it which means that the media will tell you that they suck. You know, and that that's that's. For an artist or any kind of person who who really believes in their work and 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 do it with a big heart, it's 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 you know, it's cold, <laughs> it's brutal, <laughs> it's brutal. Well, you know, yeah. you know, Shakespeare hated critics, so. <laughs> uh, well, you know, yeah, yeah. I mean, I well, I, I love the ones that that love us. You know, I, I like those ones. Those not all the critics. I, I love some critics uh, that that you know have a saying. Same brain in the you know skull, but 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 um, <laughs> unfortunately you know you know I um, I have to give an example. For example, in Finland, uh, <clears throat> with with critics, uh, there's this is one really weird problem when um, when they want you know when when um, 
they can kind of like like um how should I put this? Uh, they they kind of like uh, I think the editor in chief or whoever or the, or the or the magazine or whatever they 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 kind of like order from the from the from the from the critics they order a bad review or a good review wow. and, and and the way they do, way they do that is is is, is um, well this is just my you know <laughs> this is just my you know thoughts about it because. Uh, if I look at the look at the people who write the critics, you know the the, the reviews. In many <laughs> cases, there are people who are reviewing, for example, our albums, who are actually big fans of black metal, death metal, really really uh, technical like like stuff, which is like like so far from us. And I, I mean, it would be the same thing that if I would be put to review uh, a hip hop album, which of <laughs> course, because it's so far away from Kiss. And, and twisted sister and things that I believe in, you know, are good in music. I, it's so far far away from those. Uh, of course, it sucks. Of course, I give zero points. It's like like no stars for you guys. This is <laughs> this is like you you, you got to listen to Destroyer. The, that's where you want to go. And, and this is not what, what what is this shit? I don't understand it. So, in Finland, unfortunately, in some cases, there there are the critics are actually, you know, you know, are, are reviewing the music that they already hate. You know, yeah. as a start, as a starting point, and that is, that is so fucked up. That is, that is like so wrong. <laughs> and of course, you know, the, the normal kids, you know, when they read the magazines and read the reviews, they don't know that. They just think that hey, this guy also reviewed Slayer album, you know, so and this guy reviewed this and that. So they actually might think that this guy knows something. Well, he might know about something about uh, his artsy party, whatever, you know, you know, Sean Zone kind of music, but but. Probably he doesn't know anything about the, uh, you know, <laughs> it's oriented rock, you know, which is like like a like complete opposite of that. It's, yeah, so <laughs> I hear you. Well, yeah. <laughs> All right, Mr. Lordy, let's conclude. One thing that we always do on the show is we say, um, what would you like to say to all the internet listeners out there? This will be podcasted and repeated, but it will also go on a show in a couple Mondays with uh, a lot of your tunes and uh, your antics. Um, What would you like to say to the world out there? What can I? Well, this is this, you know these type these questions are always the ones that make me silent. These, these just, <laughs> you know these questions make me stop talking because I don't know like um uh, you know I have to think about something myself. So it's it's really hard. <laughs> it's really hard. Yeah, so so well I was like uh, hello hi mom I don't know I mean well you know it's, it's you'll you'll you know yeah wait. yeah I'm just uh, I'm just saying this that 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 you know it's it's um. You know, when internet is great, and listening radio through the internet is is really easy and it's it's it's, it's cool and blah blah blah. But don't please don't you know you know download songs for free you know because you're killing your bands you're killing the the artists there you know if you don't pay for your you know music that you use you know you're actually killing the business and which means you're killing the bands so so. That's pretty much (laughs) all I can say.